What's up guys? Now lots of you have been asking me for some more Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toys and this seemed like a perfect fit. It's the Grab and Growl Indoraptor. He's got grab, he's got growl, and he's gotta be opened. Here's a close look at the front with the cool pictures and some instructions on how he works. Here's one side and the other side. There's the top. Here's the back with a cool shot of the Indoraptor attacking dinos as well as some other dinos. Should I get some more? And there's the bottom with the UPC. And there he is guys, the evil bad guy dino from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Starting with the head, we get the mean Indoraptor looking face. The scales here look super awesome as expected because Mattel really knows how to make some dino toys. And of course he has his little hair here which is nice and soft as you can see. It's a separate piece attached there so you can actually hit somebody with it and they wouldn't hurt. Although they, they might get pissed so, so be careful about that. And he has some pretty cool teeth too as you can see. They're nice and big and they're actually not that sharp. They look sharp but they're not sharp so you can actually, you know, you can not get hurt by it. But it's got lots of details in the mouth as well. Check out the roof there. And then the tongue with the nice red, or more like a pinkish. But man, check this out. Even under the jaw, they got some awesome scaling. Now this jaw here is spring-loaded and stays open by default because of the chomping feature, which I'll show you later, as well as the cool eyes. And moving into the body, you get some more of that awesome scaling with that nice shiny black finish. And he's got some little armor plates here for his spine there, as well as this little itty bitty back hair that's so shaft and stuff. It's a separate piece. It's, why does he have back hair? And he's got his awesome gold paint here, which is just so pretty and shiny. I love shiny. And it's on both sides, which is so awesome. And it's inside the joints. Look at that. It goes all the way in when you fully like pose him. So that means like when you pose him, it you never, you know. Never miss out on gold, which is just like it's just it's just happiness. And his bottom has a flat black paint to it, as well as some nice organic detail sculpted in. Looks pretty nice, as well as a speaker. And moving into the arms, we get some more of that nicely sculpted scaling, as well as sculpted in hair this time instead of that soft rubber piece. But the hand is soft rubber, so it's nice and safe. Well, it's not really that soft actually, but it is nicely detailed and sculpted with the nice little claws. At least the claws are rounded at the edges, so that that should that should be good, right? And of course, the inside of the arm looks just as good too because the detailing goes all the way around. And moving into the legs. You get more of that gloss black scaling there as well as some insanely sculpted muscle details. They're just so thick and just, man, powerful. Just powerful. And the Lego Mumbo Jumbo is hidden on the inside of the leg there, but it's only that leg, which is pretty nice. And then of course you get the awesome feet with the menacing raptor claws there, especially this big one here. You can actually see a separation right there between the top foot and the bottom foot. That's because this is actually hard plastic and this is soft plastic as you can see there. So you can, you know, slash people and probably not hurt you know sit on it and actually that would probably hurt just not that bad and you got the dino fact app thing right there which will activate in a bit and the Jurassic World logo stamp and moving on to the tail you get more of that cool scaling as well as that gloss black paint on top and the matte on the bottom and that gorgeous gold paint and this tail is actually one piece unlike the other Indoraptor that has a two-piece tail as you can see but this one has a soft back end this top is actually hard and then this back end is actually very whoops very soft and bendy now the top of the tail has this little lever here for the grab feature and the bottom has the button here for the growl feature as well as the battery compartment that houses three LR44 batteries which thankfully are included now as for the articulation his head doesn't really rotate very much it only goes about that far right and that far left. I think that's because of the mechanism for his little, you know, little jolly feature thing. And it, it does have some side to side though. Very, actually no it doesn't. And it can go that far up and that far down. Now his neck doesn't have any rotation whatsoever, but it does have some side to side movement there, as well as his torso here that has side to side. As you see, they go together and it has some twisting so that when you use a tail here, you actually get that nice twisting motion there, which is pretty cool. And the arm only goes about that far up and that far down once again because of the mechanism and it doesn't really go in and out because it just springs right back out and even though it has a joint thing there it doesn't rotate out but the elbow does rotate 90 degrees as well as spin a full 360 and the hand has a 360 spin as well and also goes 90 degrees up and 90 degrees down and the leg here can rotate 360 degrees there as long as you don't get caught on stuff there you go and the little this part bends too and it rotates 360 and then this other lower piece here bends and rotates 360 i'm very bad with naming uh, parts of 
dinosaurs. And then this tail rotates in a little 360 degree pattern there because it connects to the front and it makes him go kind of sideways and kind of thrash and throw just like the thrash and throw T-Rex there which some of you have asked me for. Do you guys still want me to get that? Then you have the little switch right here which you flip to activate his grabbing feature. And you can actually move his arms into different positions here like up and then this one goes down or something like that and then you pull the thing and it still works, which is pretty cool. Oh, he's slapping himself. Stop slapping yourself into a raptor. Now, I kind of think mine might be kind of slightly broken, because check this out. Watch this arm. It moves a lot more than this arm, as you can see. But if I move this one up a bit, and then I pull it, it moves a little bit more, but still not as much as this. So I, I, think, I think this... I don't know if this is normal or if I got a broken one. And as you've already heard, it makes some sound effects whenever you hit that lever there. And it makes one of two sound effects. It makes the grabbing sound. Or this sound. And the sound actually restarts every time you pull it so you can cut off the sound. And just keep repeating it, just like so. And don't forget what I think is the coolest feature, this button here for the growl. You simply push the button, and his mouth moves, and his eyes light up. Now the sound doesn't cut off like the grab feature, it just plays out completely as you can see. You can't really cut off the sound. But it, it has a couple sounds, but I can't really tell how many, because they all kind of sound the same, or similar. So, I'll just... Push it a couple times, and you guys can kind of hear what he has, and maybe you guys can count it for me. Now what's cool is the jaw actually acts as a clamp, and the harder you push the button here, the harder he actually bites down. So as long as you push the button down hard enough, you can actually hold up a pretty heavy figure. The grabbing though doesn't quite work as well though. And here's what it looks like all together. Has anyone seen blue? Do he didn't need our help? Hmm. All right, now let's go and fire up the Dino Facts app. All right, let's go into collections here. And as you can see, I have the original Indoraptor there, which is one of two. So I'm guessing the second Indoraptor, which is two of two, will be unlocked by that guy. So let's find out. Eh, maybe. Okay, there we go. And, oh, turn on the sound. Don't want to forget the sound this time. All right. Let's see, get your foot over here. Cool. All right, let's see what type of facts we unlocked. All right, here's the first one that's a freebie. The Indoraptor uses e echolocation like bats. Okay, cool, he's Batman. All right, here's the first unlock. In the film, the Indoraptor is 24 feet long, longer than an elephant. In the film, the Indoraptor is a carnivore and eats lots of meat. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. In the film, the Indoraptor is extremely aggressive and violent. Uh, also obvious. In the film, Indoraptor is referred to as Stealth Fighter Jet of Dinosaurs. Wait, so instead of dropping bombs, he would drop... Oh. Alright, and for a comparison to the original Indoraptor, you can clearly see that he is much bigger than the original one. A lot taller, too. And here's Battle Damage Blue, just so you can see the size difference there. Now, overall, these Indoraptors are actually pretty much the same, except for size and articulation. I mean, the heads look the same, the paint is the same. Well, except for the gold. The gold's a lot brighter on the newer one. And the black's a bit glossier, I guess you could say. The leg design and articulation's the same. The arms are pretty much the same. The little hair's pretty much the same. And the tails are pretty much the same, too, except for the $20 Indoraptor has this double-jointed one, while this doesn't. So the only real difference is just those grab and growl features. And for some other comparisons, here he is next to the SH Figure Arts Infinity War Thanos, the SH Figure Arts Infinity War Iron Man, the Marvel Legends Chris Pratt, and the Marvel Select Gladiator Hulk. Oops, I didn't frame that right. Let me zoom out and... Nope, that's 
Nope. Uh, oh, jeez. Well, guys, overall, this dino isn't too shabby. Although, aside from the size and grabby growly wiggly features, this is pretty much the exact same as the $20 Indoraptor. I wish they would have, you know, maybe added some more sculpting to it or something, but I guess at the $30 price point, this grab and growl feature is all they really could afford to put into it, so... Hmm. But then again, those features are pretty cool, so if you have 30 bucks to spare and really love the Indoraptor, then this is a pretty sweet one to get. Anyways, guys, I have some more Marvel reviews coming up, as you guys like, but I'll also, let me know if you want to see more Jurassic World toys and which ones you want to see. And of course, thanks for watching and joining me on another video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace!